Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, drone pilots, wherever you are, whenever you are. Today I'll be showing you how to program geofence and waypoint missions in Mission Planner. So we're starting from nothing. I have the drone on my bench. First thing I turn the radio on. Then I'm going to power the drone up with a battery. Then I'm going to connect the drone with a USB cable. It can also be done over other Wi-Fi telemetry. <coughs> and I've connected the drone. Let's make sure it's connected up with the device manager. Okay, there's a COM port. It's COM5 RG pilot. We're good to go. Now I'm going to go into Mission Planner. And COM5, 96, 961 kilobaud connect. Mode change to stabilize. Okay, there we are. I wiggle the drone and we're connected. Now we want to go to the plan tab on the top. And you want to zoom in where you're making your plans. And I would advise you before you go out to the field, when you're connected to the internet, to prefetch the map so that it has downloaded the map information for the local area. So under plan, you right click on the map, go to map tools, left click on prefetch. It says no rip area defined, rip displayed on screen, yes. Level, this is the zoom level, just use the default, click OK and OK for the default. And this will take a couple minutes. In my case, it's already been prefetched, but it might take you two to five minutes in my experience. So we have the map prefetched. Now, the first thing we want to do is to find the geofence for safety. It says, please use drawing, polygon drawing tool, blah, blah, blah. We don't want that. Okay. So we already have one defined, but don't trust what you see. Always make sure you download it manually from the drone. So what you want to do is say read. This will clear, yes. So we're going to read what's on the drone to the computer. Always do that. So this is what's on the drone now. So now let's say I wanted to have a new geofence. So I right click on here, clear the message, mission. And now I need to draw a polygon that's going to be where I'm allowed to fly. If the drone flies outside of that polygon, it'll go into fail safe mode according to whatever your parameters are. So you go up here to this tiny little polygon tool here above the plus sign. You left click on that and then you left click again on the pop-up menu draw polygon now you draw with as many points as you want where you want the geofence to be you can move that around and you know be reasonable so now you have to left click on that polygon again and select fence inclusion that means everything inside of that geofence is allowed everything outside of the geofence the drone will go into fail safe mode as you define the parameters. So it lists down here on the bottom the lat lawn for all four of those. This does not cover the Z geofence, that's done in a different setting, uh, which is on your checklist. So you also want a max height in your geofence in the parameters. I usually tick, set it to 25 meters, which is 75 feet. Okay, so that's in the computer, but it's not on the drone yet. So we need to save that to the drone. So we go right, and now it's uploading it to the drone. So I found this process sometimes to be unreliable, so I always check it again just to make sure. Let's clear this mission, clear it, and read it again from the drone just to make sure. So there it is, so we're good to go on that. So that's the fence, that's the geofence. Now, if we wanted to find a waypoint mission up here, we need to go to this top right drop down menu and click mission, select the mission. And now we will, I'll clear everything, though the geofence is already there. Okay, so let's read the mission from the drone that's there. There's the mission that I have. There's four, way, four different commands. But we want to start from scratch, or maybe you want to change the mission. So right-click here, clear mission. Now it's cleared from memory on the computer. We haven't touched the drone yet. This is just the local buffer on the computer. You notice my home point is set here. That will change when you arm. So be advised, and let's see, I think I can, let's clear the mission. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to set the home point. Oh, 
I saw that. Let's clear the mission. Let's right click, set home here. Right click, set home here. So home is wherever the drone is when it arms. So you don't know which field you're gonna be flying out of the arc or where you're gonna be exactly. So just pick something reasonable. But be advised when the drone arms, the home point is wherever it armed at. Where the drone is that it armed at. Okay. So um, now we want to define, add the waypoint. So we need to left click on this polygon. Oh, we don't want that. Hit escape. We want to just left click anywhere on the map. You can have as many waypoints as you want. I'm going to add five. And you'll notice down here the when you left click, it says waypoint. That means it's going to fly to that. So it already has to be in the air. So we want the very first waypoint not to be fly to there. We want it to be actually take off if we're going to start from the ground. Otherwise, you, it won't work. So we go to take off from the drop down menu. That'll be our waypoint. So the very first waypoint, it just takes off. And now you notice it disappears because it's going to take off from the home location or wherever it takes off will be reset to home. Second, third, fourth, fifth waypoint. Now, the, the last waypoint, depending on what you want it to do, I want it to return to launch. So it'll fly back home and land. So that's good. Now, it's got the lat lawn here of the waypoints. However, notice that the default altitude is 100 meters. We don't want that. That's 300 feet. That's too high. So let's make that um, 10 meters. That's 30 feet. That's a reasonable altitude. You can easily see what's going on. Oh, and then I want to, I accidentally clicked that, so I want to delete that one, which I can't do. So down here, number six, I can highlight that, and I can press the delete key on the keyboard. Okay, so if you ever get in trouble, just clear it out and start over. So now the waypoint mission is stored in the drone, on the computer, but we want to write it to the drone. So we need to write here, left click on this write button, it'll upload the mission to the drone. And again, I found this to be unreliable, so I'd, I would suggest you always double check that it was saved properly, because you don't want to have a waypoint mission where it flies off to Timbuktu. So if you have geofence enabled, that'll stop it, but you want not to take any risks. So let's clear the mission, and now let's read the waypoint file from the drone down to the computer. There it is. So that's how you set up waypoint missions. Happy flying.